Hey YouTube, this video is going to be showing you how to download and install third-party VSTs into FL Studio. So the example I'm going to use for this video will be a free VST called BR808. So the first thing you want to do is download it. You can just type into Google BR808 VST. Uh, it should be the first result that comes up. Uh, scroll down this website there will just be a download uh, open that up download it if you want to look right here in the website it'll tell you the features of the VST that we're downloading it's really quite great it has a lot of options so once the download comes up though uh, you want to extract all files it's easy to extract them all to the desktop that's usually the best um, once it finishes copying to the desktop, then just go find a nice little folder right here. So there will be several files often when you download uh, VSTs, but really the only one that you want is the .dll extension file. So this one right here, you want to just copy it, then if you go to C drive, then program files, this is where you want to uh, go to your VST plugins and then just copy it into this folder right here or paste it my bad uh, So then once you do that it'll copy it over And then you pull out FL studio so now it's downloaded into your computer But you still need to get FL studio to recognize it so you get channels add-on then you go to more uh, once you do this you can uh, just go refresh and then do a fast scan. Any new ones that you uh, that you just put into that folder will be in red. And then you just click on whatever ones that you want to add in, and then voila, you have your BR808 VST, and you can open it up. So this is what it'll look like. I'm gonna do a tutorial series about how to use this because it's free and it has quite a bit of options it's really quite extensive I really like this uh, VST um, so yeah this is all for this tutorial I'll be uploading some more tutorials soon so yeah see you later